Hi, in this lesson, we are going to add cards and multi rows cards to our dashboard. Cards are used to drive user attention to important numbers and KPIs, especially when we have some of the metric field like sales, profit, and quantities. We can display all these figures in the form in the form of the cards. So let us add to add a card here. So this is the card we have. We can add here. So this is the card. So you see there is only one field visible here. That means in cards we can add we can display the value of a particular field especially. So let us uh, add here the sales figure. So this is the sum of sales that we have got. Okay. Suppose we want to uh, that. Uh, and display here the average sales we can also change it like this we have here the options we can do it so this is the sum of sales suppose we want to add here the profit and quantity how can we do it so here what we can do so the single card will not be able to help here what we can do we can convert this card into a multi rows card next to it there is multi rows card so we can convert this then this field we can add that uh, another field that is called we can add here profit profit will also be displayed here we can see sum of sales and sum of profit okay similarly we can also add here quantity so we will also get the sum of quantity suppose we want to reflect here like average uh, quantities we can also get it all these things okay. as per our requirement we can always select what we need okay. here uh, normally what we will do, we will build multiple cards instead of uh, that uh, using a single card that can reflect multiple values of different fields. Instead, what we will do, we will build single card and format the single card, then we will copy and uh, we will replace the value. So let us, so what we will do, we will convert once again to a single card. So this is the sum of sales. Okay, what we have got the sum of sales. Suppose I want to write here like to total sales. I can also write total sales that I have got. Okay, so then we can uh, we can write here okay, and enter hit enter. So what we will do? We will uh, use some of the formatting options here. We will use some of the formatting options here. Next to fill tab, we have uh, formatting options okay so let us start with this so this is call out values means for the values we can whatever editing we can do we can always do okay so this is the font suppose we will make it a little small we can make it okay so this is the font suppose we want to bold it we can make it so font color this is the font color suppose we want to change it we can also change okay this is the font so uh, let us remember this is for the value we are editing here suppose we want to display this million uh, as thousands we can also we have options here we can also write this okay. so then uh, we have also we can uh, this is the category level that is means total sales we can also select this suppose we want to increase the font so suppose we want to write it as 25 font it is we can also make it or little lesser so we can also make it okay. so these are the options this is the color what we have selected we can change it also as well okay so this is then let us explore a few more things suppose we will go to the uh, properties nothing to do here then we will see the proposition this is the horizontal and vertical position okay we can uh, suppose we are shifting the visuals it will change automatically okay so this is then one by one we will see okay. then we will go for like positions we have seen it then title okay so we, uh, we can also see for the title if we want to add a title to this scorecard, we can also add here. Okay. So this is 
we nothing to do here okay then we can see the effect if we want to uh, like some effect we want to add so this is also we can like a lighter color little lighter color will add here I think it will be okay so then so this is a transparency label we can use so then border uh, suppose we want to do all these things we can do we have all these options we can always see so then what we'll do we have formatted here so now we'll make the size of the scorecard a little small then we'll copy okay copy so here we'll copy so next to it we'll add it here okay so what we'll make it here instead of total sale what we'll do we'll add here total profit sum of profit it is coming so then we can go for visuals one second so we have also text properties okay. so background color we can change a little so this this will be fine suppose we want to change it one second uh, text color if you want to change we can also change okay. once again we will copy this and we will create another scorecard for the quantity okay. we can add a scorecard for the quantity okay. so here what we'll do we'll change it to quantity once again we can go and change the color here to some other color like take for we'll this will be fine i think okay so we can this is how we can create scorecard and multiple scorecard okay that's for the lessons i will see you in the next one